Well, hello everybody, it's wonderful to have you with us. I pray wherever you are that you know that God is with you exactly in the place where you are. Can I ask a question? Have you ever made a mistake? Have you ever messed up at all? Have you? Well, I'm currently traveling and I've been away for a number of weeks and will be for a while yet. And normally Rosemary travels with me, and uh, but this time she's not. And and sometimes Rosemary hears in the recordings things that have happened before we've even had a chance to talk about them. And uh, well, recently I shared about the fact that I had, I couldn't find my special glasses, the glasses I use when I record or when I speak somewhere. They've got a special coating on them. They're quite expensive for all the lighting. And, uh, and, and uh, I shared that I had misplaced them. And well, Rosemary sometimes rings up afterwards and she said, she says to me, so what happened this time? And by this time, the inference being is that maybe I've been known to leave things behind, lose things, etc. maybe. And, 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 I, and she said, so, so what happened? And I, and I said, I said, oh, this is what happened. I said, someone's come into my room and they've gone, they've looked around the room and they've seen my glasses on the table and they've gone and they've opened up the glasses case and they've taken the glasses out and then they've put the glasses case back and then they've left and they haven't taken anything else. But they've come in and they've taken them. And she said to me, really? And, and she said to me, have you rung the last place where you were? Where were you? And I said, oh, well, I was in Dallas, Texas and, and I'm currently in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And she said, well, why don't you ring the hotel where you are, were and just check? And so I rang up. I said, OK, I rang up and I said to the gentleman, I was in room 623. And before I could say much else, he said, oh, we found some glasses there. And this is what I think happened, Rosemary, is that the person who took them was feeling well, a bit guilty, I reckon, and it got on their conscience. And so what they'd done is they had brought the glasses and put them back in the room. And I'm just here to tell you that um, uh, prayer works. It's all good. Uh, the glasses, I have them back. And uh, yeah, I just, I, just thought I'd, I just thought I'd share that to you right here. And thank you, everyone, for letting me share that with Rosemary right now. That's my story, and, and I'm sticking to it. All right? Yeah. I think we should go on with the daily devotional right now. I do. I do. We are in this series called The Holy Spirit Powered Life. And I want to make one point today. It's a big point. And it will take some reflection for us. But uh, at the surface, it might actually appear small, but it's not. I'm going to start by going to Acts chapter 2, and I'm going to read from verse 14. And it says this. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. When the Holy Spirit came upon them in the upper room, there was a great noise. And people came around and said, you know, these men are just drunk. And Peter stands up and very boldly gives a longer speech, which you can read in Acts chapter 2. And he says, no, 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 they're not drunk. He said, this is what was foretold when the Holy Spirit came upon people. And he goes on in this speech and he says to them, ultimately, he said, you killed him. Like all of a sudden, Peter is this giant, confident man. Well, go back just 50, 60 days before and just before Jesus was, was uh, killed. Peter, Peter says to Jesus, I know what you're talking about. You're going through. I'm not going to let you go through it. Matter of fact, I'm going to be with you the whole time. And Jesus says to him on, on the night he was betrayed, Peter, before the cock crows tonight, you're going to have denied me three times. Peter says, no way. And sure enough, he does. And then later on, we have that powerful scene in John's gospel right at the end where Jesus says to Peter three times, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? And Peter says, yes, I do. And, and there's this brokenness in Peter where Peter, who is in one sense, this man who keeps stuffing things up, getting it wrong. And yet have a look at him now. Something's happened to him. And what is it? 
And we read it in Acts chapter 2, verse 4. Have a look at this verse. And it says, And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. And all of them were filled. The difference for Peter was this, is the Holy Spirit had come into his life. And so he had gone from being this timid, this man who made mistakes, this man who was frightened, this man who was frail, this man who didn't understand, to now this man of confidence and strength and boldness. There's a difference. And what's the event in the middle? It's the coming of the Holy Spirit upon him. It's the coming of the Spirit upon him that changes him. And I want to make this one simple point today. In my life, there was a distinct point, a moment when the priest prayed for me on a particular day. And he said, I'm going to pray that the Holy Spirit is released in your life in power. And as he prayed that the Holy Spirit released in power in, power in my life, for me, there was a before and after experience. And the central bit was Holy Spirit come into my life in power. Now, as a Catholic person, through the sacraments, through baptism, confirmation, I'd received that spirit, but, but it was the event. And Jesus has said to them, wait for the coming promise of the Father, which is the Holy Spirit. And I wanna say this to you, the Holy Spirit gives us power and strength and knowledge and courage in our life. And there in many ways should be, once we begin to acknowledge the Holy Spirit in our life, and we release the gifts of the Holy Spirit in our life, a difference in us between what we were before and what we are now. In your prayer, in your prayer today, take that to God. In your prayer to God, take to God this whole idea of God, I seek to be a strong man, woman that you've called me to be. I want to live within you and I want your power to reside in me so that who I was is left behind and that I step into a better version of me. Make that your prayer today. The Holy Spirit is meant to make a difference in our lives. It is making a difference in our lives, but we have to cooperate with the Spirit within us. Why don't we pray right now? I want to pray the prayer I've prayed the last few days from a prayer book that I from the prayer book that I wrote on the Holy Spirit. And it says this. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, you are God. You are se you sent you are sent from God our Father and Jesus your Son to me. Fill me more deeply with your presence. You are wanted in my life. You are welcome in my life. You are needed in my life. Holy Spirit, deepen my knowledge and personal relationship with you. That's a, that's a great prayer. Holy Spirit, deepen my knowledge and personal relationship with you. You are the power of God alive within me. You are the strength of God within me. You are the enabler of God within me. Holy Spirit, you enable me to hear the voice of God in my heart. Holy Spirit, you enable me to respond to the voice of God in my heart. Holy Spirit, you enable me to act according to the voice of God in my heart. Holy Spirit, you enable me to love in keeping with the voice of God in my heart. Holy Spirit, lead me in truth. Holy Spirit, guide me in wisdom. Holy Spirit, strengthen me in courage. Holy Spirit, come upon me in power and have your will in me. And Father, we make this prayer in the name of Jesus, through the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. I pray today that you would pray through that uh, and that you would ask the presence and power of the Holy Spirit to be in your life. Well, you can pray for me. I was going to go out to dinner this evening, but I can't find my keys. Uh, but anyway, these things happen. Hey, God bless you. See you tomorrow. And don't forget, wherever you are, God is never far from you.